why you should do a value sketch. We all hate to do it, but you still should do them. I'm Jess Rice. I'm an art teacher, and beginners are my specialty. I create value sketches to give me a little bit of a road map when I do my watercolors. It makes painting the watercolors much easier. I take a little travel journal with me wherever I go, and I just create a library of scenes that I'm, I'm looking at. Maybe I'm sitting on a ferry, sitting on somebody's boat. I just create a little value sketch in here that I can bring home and paint from. Plus, I have a nice catalog of ideas and shapes that I can pull from for other paintings. Just a quick 10 minute sketch will save you tons of time and a lot of headache when you start into your watercolors. All nice paintings should have a, a range of values in them. So that's really what I wanna show you today is how to start from a small sketch and then transferring that to a, a larger watercolor. To simplify it today, I'm just gonna work with three values. I kinda of draw a little value scale here on the side, what I'm gonna work with. Split that into three. My three values, I want a real dark value. I want a mid-tone that's a little bit lighter. And then I want some nice whites. I want the whites of my paper showing through. That's gonna be my lightest value. I've got some mid-tones and I'm gonna have some nice darks. So I just start with my scene. I'm just gonna do a nice little house here. My favorite thing to paint. Nice little cottage out in the woods. Maybe it's got a big tree behind it. Keeps it nice and shady in the summertime. It's got a door, of course, and a couple windows. So now I have to start deciding where I want my values. Is my house gonna be real lit? Is it gonna be a dark house? Probably need to decide that first. I like a nice white house. I take advantage of the whites of the watercolor paper. I want them showing through. So to create a shadow side of my building, I'd probably choose a mid-tone on this side. Let's color that right in, matching my mid-tone color. So already I picked kind of the direction my sunlight's coming. It's hitting the front of my building. This side's in shadow. I'm using a mid-tone to create that shadow. I don't want my roof bright white like that. I probably want it a little bit of mid-tone in it as well. Now just my front is nicely lit. My windows, they'd probably have a little bit of color in them. They'd probably be reflecting the sky. Maybe they're a nice mid-tone. Now I wanna add some darks. I've got lights, I've got mid-tones. I need a nice dark to balance out my painting. How about if we make our tree nice and dark? right up against my nice roof line here. Really brings that out. Got a nice dark shape. I've got mid-tones. I've got a nice light shape. What am I gonna do with my door? I'm gonna paint it a darker color, lighter color. I need to decide that. Let's bounce that dark color maybe down here. Let's put a dark color, a dark door in. Maybe we'll make it a dark red or a dark green color. There we go, that kind of bounces that dark down to there and kind of bounces out my painting. I can put as much detail into this little sketch as I want. I can draw every board on my building, every nail in it if I want. I can put as much detail in as I go along. But now when I start painting this, I've got a quick little roadmap to follow. I know that this, my tree's gonna be darker than my roof. My roof's gonna be darker than my front. This side of my house is gonna be darker than the front. I know which way my light's coming. It's lighting this, this side of my house, this side's in shadow. Maybe I even want to add a little bit of a shadow down here to reflect that. Keeping that in my mid-tones. Add a little shadow up here. This is a great way to fix a lot of things in your painting. I can spend 10 minutes here and fix things here before I dive into a big painting and start in with color and realize, well, what colors am I gonna paint things? What's light, what's dark? This gives me a quick little roadmap to follow. Really simplifies my painting, simplifies the process to painting that painting. You'll save a lot of time and a lot of headache in a quick little value sketch.